can you talk to me just a little bit in what ways is shooting stars proof that teamwork makes the dream work? The bond that these guys had, the 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 film rep is representing that basketball is more than a game. It's about friendship. And to me, it's very spiritual. Like how, when they weren't good, how it affected their game. When LeBron was drinking and how it affected his game. You know what I mean? Like it really represented like, it's not just about like dribbling a basketball and putting it in the rim. Like it's, it's bigger than that. It's about hard work. It's about dedication, the pressure that's going to be put on you. Um, and uh, the spotlight that these men had, like, what are you willing to do? What are what are the limits are you willing to go to to be great? You know what I mean? So it, it, it's and there's so many and like the confidence that you had to go out on the court, like even people that are going to watch this film. This is not just for basketball people. This could be for anybody, in any field that you're competitive in, like the confidence that you need, the 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 level of responsibility that you're going to need to take it to the next level. Absolutely. I definitely agree because in watching the film, I was like, wow, this is so much more than just basketball. Yeah. And, you know, for you, Mookie, since you are a ball player, in what ways did you prepare for this role? And how was stepping into LeBron's shoes kind of like a full circle moment for you? Definitely. You know, I just watched a lot of interviews on his, you know, his, how he talked, uh, watched, you know, a lot of interviews. I mean, watched a lot of highlights of just how he moved in high school. Uh, like little antics, you know, facial expressions, um, and man, nah, yeah, definitely, it's a, it's kind of crazy. It definitely is a full circle, man. Uh, you know, just being able to, you know, grow up, you know, see Bronny, and then now uh, playing his father. You know, what I mean, it's kind of funny because like that's my that's my boy. So it's just like you know, uh, it's definitely you know, pretty surreal. You know, what I mean, uh, being able to you know play LeBron James, pretty crazy, yeah. Absolutely. And Caleb, you know, I love Drew because we just learned so much about just like advocating for yourself through this character. So can you talk to me a little bit about what you specifically learned about fighting to have your voice heard? And in what ways do you hope that that resonates with those that are watching? Yeah, um, the, the, the one thing I realized what Drew... Well, at least for me, what I went into, not even going into it, actually watching the film. Watching the film, I'm like, wow. I don't think Drew really cared about what people, if people thought he was good or if people thought he was bad. He really wanted to prove himself right. It was really about who he was as a person. Like, he, he had to know for himself that he was good or that he, his confidence, he had to bring, a, I think he had the most confidence out of everybody because of his height and people trying to put him down. Like, oh, you're not good because you're too small. You're too skinny. Like, now nah, I'm a dog. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna make these threes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, def I'm gonna steal this ball. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be a leader on the court. I'm gonna make my own decisions. Um, so I felt that like that's what learning, like going into the film. Of course, I had to know like, okay, I had to go in with a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. I had to be confident. But watching it from a you know a different perspective, seeing his level of like like his uh, relationship with his friends, his relationship within himself, his dad. He couldn't allow other people to get inside his head. He had to know who he was. Yeah, and lastly for you, Mookie, can you just tell me in what ways, you know, this um, film depicts like black brotherhood and we don't really get to see a lot of that from a young age seeing this bond that the guys had what do you how did this mirror kind of some of like your own friendships and what message do you hope it sends to like young men who are watching man um stick to your people that love you you know what i mean uh you know just have a core group that you can depend on uh if needed, if you need anything, just know that you just always need people, you need people around you that aren't gonna take from you, you know what I mean? Keep people around you that don't need nothing, you know what I mean? Uh, not necessarily don't need nothing, but as in just, they're not using you for the wrong things, you know what I mean? It's it's genuine. Um, and you can definitely see that, you know what I mean? It's, it's regardless of if, you know, they're having their ups and downs, man, uh, they were always able to come to a conclusion um, and they love each other, bro. Like they wouldn't be friends to this day if it wasn't if it wasn't genuine. You know what I mean? Um, 
Yeah, man. I honestly, you know, just find the people that you truly care about and that you feel like you're gonna, you know, see yourself in five to ten years. You, uh, you know, if you if you see them in the picture, you know, taking a picture with them, you feel like you know they're gonna be with you there. You know what I mean? Because ultimately, you just want the right people around you. Yeah. Agreed. Well, y'all did a phenomenal job. I really enjoyed the film. So hats off to y'all and congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. As much as this is a story about basketball, Shooting Stars is also a story about fatherhood. What do you hope Coach Drew depicts for those watching? I hope Coach Drew depicts, uh, first of all, a father who also mentored others, like a, a strong, um, compassionate person you know, with strength and compassion, right? Um, who had the hurdle, really it's a hurdle dealing with a giant like LeBron James who just ascends right in front of you. You might not know what to do with that type of energy. And so I just know um, Coach Drew in real life, he's such a great person. I hope people gather that from, from this film. You know, I hope they understand that he had a lot to do with nurturing all those boys. Their ideology is nurtured through their interaction with Coach Drew. So. I would, I would hope they got that from it. Absolutely. And, you know, how much of this was art imitating life for you, especially as a former ball player yourself? Oh, well, I don't know about art imitating life, but like dream coming true, for sure. To be able to, first of all, on the set every day, I was able to just play some basketball. Okay? So that makes the time go faster. As you know, you know, a movie sets are 12 hours is half your life the whole time you're on the set is half your life right so you know in six months you spend three months on the set all right and so you need things that help you let energy out so when you do a sports movie you have those things right around you basketball football baseball you find your when they say cut you know you get active and shoot some hoops and it just I just like that aspect of, of working on sports films um so I'm not sure if I answered your question, but. Yeah, you did. You did. And, you know, I love that you mentioned working on sports films because you're a veteran in this space. And I'm a huge fan of a lot of the movies that you've done in the past. And so you've breathed life into so many characters that represent various forms of brotherhood. How is the brotherhood shown in shooting stars different than anything we've ever seen before? I think it's different because. Well, you get to see the dynamic of these young men as they deal with this real life historical figure, which is what LeBron James is, is sports figure historically, okay? And you don't really know what's gonna happen next. You don't know your teammate is gonna be regarded as the greatest player of all times by, by, by lots of people, right? And so um, I think in real time for those people, they had to be like concerned about their everyday lives, right? Not knowing that the guy standing next to them would end up a person, I don't know, mega famous historical type figure. So, um, I mean, that's challenging, all right? It's challenging for the group. People might have envy or jealousy, or you know, they might have saw themselves as being a pro but didn't become a pro, you know? And yet the person next to you became the biggest pro of all time. So. Sometimes the egos might engage, right? I hope that this process shows a brotherliness through that type of an obstacle, a very unique obstacle. That's why I like that the, the real LeBron and his friends come out and in part of the ad, you know, they, they lock arms and they show some brotherhood throughout his whole time. It's good for them to see um, young men like that too. Young men just being cool with each other despite what may be an obstacle or what might what they might deem as a hurdle of some type, right? But still coming together with with real love. And I feel like Coach Drew is the anchor for that, right? He's like an anchor to keep them rooted in in in, uh, in their path, right? And on their focus, on their, whatever the goals were. So 
Absolutely. I definitely understand that. And I definitely um, saw that as a viewer. And my last question for you is just, what qualities does Coach Drew mirror um, that are some of your own or just the sentiment of having someone who is an elder believe in you before you even believe in yourself? Well, I would say, you know, in, in, in real life, Coach Drew is a lot different than I am. Um, I gained from this experience some things to add on to my personality from Coach Drew. Um, uh, what what would be mirrored? Uh, well, a love for sports is mirrored, um, and and like like I like young people, you know, like I I like to engage with young people, and if I can mentor, that like that energy is in me, right? Not everybody wants to be that way, but I'm I like to be that way, right? So. I think we have those two things in common. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time, Wood, and congratulations on yet another amazing role. Oh, thank you so much. What do you think or hope shooting stars will teach a younger generation about brotherhood? Um, that's a good question. I, I definitely think it will teach them that you can't do it alone. Um, I don't think it's going to tell you, like, oh, you have to find your friends or you have to find this type of friend nah it's, it's just whoever you with like whoever you know you've been around your whole life it just shows the path and the journey that they took together and um as teammates you know basketball brings you know a big impact to brotherhood and friendship so i think the film is just gonna basically give an idea of the brotherhood and the friendship that the fab five share and I think that all athletes, not just basketball, but for any sport, will pick up on that. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, basketball obviously is a big theme of the film. But the big underlying thing for me is, like, truly that brotherhood. So for you, Khalil, in what ways does the Fab Five mirror a lot of friendship between young Black boys that we don't often see portrayed on the big screen? Yeah, um... I think just, you know, the togetherness, you know, being able to stick together. Um, we don't really see that a lot. Um and also, like it wasn't it wasn't much fighting going on in the movie, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't many much violence, it was just, you know, black love, not and but black love with your friends. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I'm I'm kinda big on friendship and, and big on, on staying ten toes with my brothers and making sure that they know that I'm staying ten toes behind them. So and I'm, that 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 shows in the film for sure. Yeah, it definitely does. And for you, Scoop, in what ways is shooting stars kind of proof that teamwork indeed does make the dream work? Uh, I think them just fighting through that adversity was a was a huge thing for the team, um, and just showing that they can get it to get they can get it done together, and that they don't have to go their own way. They don't have to you know try to be selfish because it was never that. You know, uh, what, since they were younger and, you know, with Romeo joining, uh, he came in, you know, not knowing that, but then he, you know, they gotten better as a team and, you know, kind of came into a, a collective agreement to where it's together or nothing. So I think Shooting Stars, the movie, just showed that togetherness and, and the brothers and, and the area of sports. Yeah, for sure. And lastly, I have a question for all three of y'all. And it's just, you know, we get to see LeBron and his younger stage, right? Because we all know and love LeBron today as the superstar mega athlete. But this kind of, in my opinion, humanizes him a little bit by talking about how it all started. So I want to know, what was y'all's introduction to LeBron? And how did being a part of this movie make it was kind of full circle for y'all? And we can start with you, AJ. Um, what do, you, what do you mean by my introduction to LeBron? Yeah, so like first when did you, you first? Right, oh, that, oh, the best LeBron. First huh? time, like, so yeah, like the first time like you uh, noticed him, like whether it was playing basketball, like is there like a specific? Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, well, I know him just from being in the league. Like everybody's just like, oh, LeBron James, LeBron. Everybody knows LeBron James. Like since I was a kid, just from nice. coming into the league, you know, straight from high school. Yeah. But, um. That that more than the game um, documentary is when I really like got to see like oh okay this 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 kid is crazy you know I'm a kid but I'm saying like when he was in high school he he's crazy so 
me seeing him, um, that whole documentary from More Than a Game, I think that's when I really like started to pick up like he's gonna be the greatest of all time. That's who LeBron James is. Yeah. And what about y'all really quickly before we wrap? When did y'all realize like, oh, that's LeBron James, LeBron James? Uh Bron been LeBron been that dude since you know, but right, like basketball been a part of my life, my, my whole life. So I can't, I can't even tell you the first time I knew, I seen LeBron. You know, because uh, I grew up watching NBA games, being around all my uncles and my my drunk uncles watching basketball games, NBA games. So uh, I, I I grew up off it, you know. So I don't even remember the first time I seen Brian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and lastly, you scoop. Uh, like a little said, like basketball has always been a part of. You know, me as a person and just, you know, going upstairs, watching the TV for a little segment with my pops, you know, uh, just seeing LeBron on the screen, commercials, little commercials here and there. Um, that, that one commercial that he did with all all of himself, you know, the little kid with the pool. Oh, Lord. That was kind of... Yeah. <laughs> that was iconic. That was, that, was, uh, that was kind of like the first thing I remember. Awesome. Well, y'all did an amazing job in the film. So hats off to y'all and congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. So much. Hi, Chris. My name is Shanique with Shadow and Act. How are you today? Hi, Shanique. I am a big fan of Shadow and Act. Yay! We love that. <laughs> and hats off on this amazing film. I want to start by asking you, in what ways is the story of shooting stars literal proof that teamwork makes the dream work? <laughs> I think it's it's all about the village, right? It's about all of us. Obviously, LeBron James is this superhuman, superhero, iconic person who's reached amazing heights in his uh, chosen sport. But I think what really attracted me to the movie to begin with that is that we all go through this experience, right? We all have friends and we all uh, have this village, whether it's great and or if it, or if you wish there was a better village, we all have this process in life, and I think that when you're on the same page, when your uh, the reasons that you're doing it are right, you can get results like what we see with LeBron James, and just the fact that him and all his friends are still brothers. Absolutely, and you know, oh sorry, I don't know, it cut out for a minute, so I missed no, your end you're point. Good to, you're good to go. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And you know, this film um, gives viewers a peek inside, like you mentioned, where it all started for LeBron James. What, in what ways do you feel like this film humanizes him? And what kind of message do you hope that resonates with those that are watching? You know, um, you know, I haven't met LeBron yet in this whole process. And in the beginning of the process, I really wanted to meet him and talk to him. And But I, the more that I was in pre-production and production, I found that it was a gift that I didn't get the opportunity to meet him. I, I met everyone around him. I met his friends. I went to his projects that he's from. I met his coach. I met his teachers. I met, you know, the guy down at the diner who, you know, just knew LeBron when he was, you know, 16 years old. And I think what I learned was to tell, what it inspired me to do was tell an authentic story in a way that it was, not kind of a, a fantasy of what it was. Mm -hmm. And in the film, you know, I wanted to just really be authentic. Like, what were his, his faults? What was the relationship between the boys? Why were they so close? Why are they still close today? And I think what's amazing about it is that when it when you unravel the film, it's just human nature, right? It's just human and these relationships of brotherhood, which we don't often see, right? A lot of times we'll see movies with black boys in it and it's about trauma, uh, you know? And some of those are amazing films. I love, I love some of those films, but the more I heard the story, the more I, you know, understood exactly where he was from and, and what he did. I thought it was, you know, beautiful to be able to tell this story in this way and have this kind of representation that, you know, like, wow, this is a father-son story. Even though LeBron's dad wasn't present in the house, his coach 
took that space. This is a story about loyalty and how these young men, you know, one friend is ascending to great heights, but that doesn't mean that there's a jealousy. That means that they want to push him forward. You know, there's all kind of new friends when you become LeBron James, but he wanted to make sure that he stuck to what he loved and what mattered to him most. And I think for me, that's the most amazing part. Because look, there's amazing basketball in this movie. We, we, we're watching LeBron's uh, iconic status grow every day. Now his son's going to USC. Like we're all excited to, to see what happens next. And he's like the best of us, right? But I think what this movie shows is that the, the minutia, the small things, the, the family part is what matters so much. And um, it was just a, such a great pleasure to be able to tell a story that is more stand by me uh, than, you know, something that's, you know, so shocking. And at the same time, you know, it's exciting. You know, people have said, hey, man, I laughed, I cried, it was great. Like, you know, that's what real life is. And I hope that we were able to communicate that. Absolutely. I enjoy just seeing, like you said, the story of Black Brotherhood at such a young age in that unfold. Um, so hats off on amazing storytelling. And I can't wait for the rest of the world to see it. Thank you so much. You're and so keep, welcome. Keep shadowing that going. I dig it. Yay. It's dope. Thank <laughs> you so much.